As we go through a wellness approach to the nervous system this month, I want to cover something that is more in the structure area, and that is balance and neurological organization. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And I'm going to go through today, and I might do a couple videos on this, um, some balance exercises, not really the typical ones that you would see, um, even taking baby steps in this. And what I mean by this is, um, is being neurologically organized. In other words, having the brain communicate with the body, specifically the, the muscular system. So we're really, what we're doing here is we're combining the neurological system with the musculoskeletal system that we did back a few months ago. So what this is, is really kind of focusing on the brain stem, some of the, what we call the primitive brain. Uh, this area in here will communicate down to the body uh, and and we can we can work at getting a little smarter with that. We already did a, a I, I kind of refer you back to the exercise where we kind of opened up and relaxed this area. That's going to be real important. So if you haven't done that, I would kind of work on that a little bit. Go ahead and massage this in here. Get some oils out. What I'm going to start with anyway for the balance exercise is Valor. Okay, is work with Valor, and uh, Valor is um, you know kind of a, a dark blue oil. And so I'm gonna put a few, a few five or six drops of Valor uh, on here, and I'm gonna put that right, right on the brain stem. You can see my uh, area I'm talking about right up here, right across the top. And then go ahead with the neck, and then put some uh, on the tailbone uh, down here. And I'm really, if I could put it all the way down the spine, I would right at the moment, but I'm just gonna do real quick on this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is back up and then uh, have you see what I'm talking about for a seated exercise, okay? So I'm gonna back up here and I want you to see this uh, seated, I'm gonna try to get the stool to go up. Okay, the seated exercise I'm talking about here is just the beginning of, uh, of what I would consider to be to kind of learn since most of us are sitting all uh, every day we you know we, we can do this exercise throughout the day and we're, what we're doing again is we're focusing on that connection so we can do our breathing breathing into the brain stem breathing down the spine breathing the communication out to the muscles and feeling that nerve flow out and then the nerve flow back in, right? So we can kind of make a connection with that with a few breaths. But the exercise is pretty simple. I'm gonna sit uh, with my pelvis slightly higher than my knees, a little bit hard to see that here. But, and then I'm gonna keep my spine relatively stiff or, or straight. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I don't wanna be slumping, right? So I'm gonna roll my pelvis slightly forward, keep my, keep my chest and, and everything straightened out. And, and as I go forward, you see that, that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not bending the spine or anything. I'm not tipping the head. I'm just tilting slightly forward. Now, if you watch this hand back here, it it's, it's, uh, slides slightly forward on the, on the thigh, right? So I'm going to hinge and then come back. And so I'm just rocking back and forth, but I'm feeling, I'm just allowing myself to feel the control, the muscles, that it takes to do this and they're all in the core front and back muscles are involved in this little exercise here i can do that same exercise on a tilt right and i'm rocking i'm putting weight on the right hip then the left hip then the right hip then the left hip and you might think all this is really silly but you'd be surprised at how many people will do this Right. In other words, they don't have they don't have a sense of where their hip is, and a hip is the base. So if if you know really need to practice this, that that my spine stays straight, absolutely the sacrum stays straight, everything stays straight, and I tilt onto this leg or onto this hip, and tilt and do this in the mirror because you think you're doing it right, but I can tell you a lot of people will do this side bending thing. And, and the hip stays locked in place. We want to really feel this rock. Do you see that difference? I hope you see that difference. Big difference between this action and this action where I'm tilting. So this is we're starting to get talking about being one, being maybe loose enough, but two, being neurologically organized, really paying attention to where the body is 
uh, in this. And so again, this is a forward and back, not not like this, right? I'm not doing, I'm not bending the spine. I'm straight and I'm hinging forward and back with the spine. Okay, now those are the two simplest exercises, but we can put those together in 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 tracking. If if you can get that part down, then we do a little bit more, which is to say. I'm going to track an arc to this knee, across and back to this knee, back over and forward, back over and forward. You can see this in the front, back over, forward, back over and forward, back over and forward. And you're going to find out that you're using uh, core muscles, right? This is this is these are the deep core muscles. It's very difficult to do this particular activity without using the basic abdominal core muscles, front and back, back muscles, you know, low back, back muscles. So these are the the muscles we are going to need for core work, right? So this is, again, this is bringing the brain into the core. Simple exercise, you're not adding, a, you know, you're not pushing on anything, you're not making, you're not lifting anything, we're not doing anything, we're not trying to stress anything, we're just becoming aware. I, I mean, so many people literally cannot do this exercise here, and I think it's critical. So you can try tracking a circle in one direction, and then a circle in the other direction. And again, you want to watch yourself in the mirror and make sure that you're not doing anything like with the shoulders. This action starts way down here, right? This is where the action is, down here. Right, it's not a shoulder thing, right? I'm not doing those. So that's our first exercise uh, for for what I would call base, uh, you know, neurological organization, getting a sense of where I am. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we can do for neurological organization. You can look up cross pattern, uh, and and if, if someone has some really good video, I haven't done any research on the internet to so find some videos on cross pattern exercises crawling, creeping, crawling, uh, uh, brachiation, pulling up. Uh, those are all the neurological organization pathways from, from primitive to walking um, that, that you need to, to do, you know, using all the muscles, right, to do good walk, walking. So um, to, the next video I'm going to do is some of these exercises standing uh, and, and we can start. The, pro the reason I'm starting with sitting is because as soon as we go to standing, we've got so many more joints that we're dealing with. Uh, we've got the knees and the ankle joints and, uh, and you know, even, even the, hip, the hip joints technically in there, okay? So that's the first set. If you get through that and you're doing a good job on that, then move on to the next one. If not, if you haven't, haven't been able to get this, work to the point where you can really keep this trunk stabilized and move it. Uh, and that will tell the, that will give the brain, we're trying to activate. If it's really confusing, get that valor oil, keep breathing. Breathe into the brainstem, get the, um, you know, breathe light and activity into the brainstem, breathe intelligence uh, into the brainstem. Tell, tell your body it's smart. It is smart. It's amazingly smart, but we need to kind of make that connection uh, and feel that, that uh, body connection there. So it's all about proprioception and body intelligence uh, with regard to structure, I mean, you know, posture, movement. A balance this is really what we're getting to. So if we, if we want to work on balance, okay, this is, I know there are a lot of balances exercises out there. I'm talking about just simply getting this part done and then we'll work on some more balance exercises. Happy wellness one day at a time.